I've been manifesting pretty much my entire life. Way before I even knew what the word meant. And way before there were hundreds of books and articles written about the subject, there was the time I got chosen to be in the dance demonstration on a Girl Scout field trip, the time I won the fourth grade class spelling B, the time I was hired for a job in a group interview, this happened twice, and the many times I won contests or raffles. My childhood manifesting list could go on and on. But the biggest manifest from my childhood days was in fourth grade. I flat out told my mother and my very best friend that I was going to grow up and marry the boy who lived next door, the boy who ended up moving to another state. And it happened, 14 years later. And yes, we're still going strong some 30 plus years later. Some might call it luck, hard work, poor charm, and I know all those things have a role in what you get in life. But there is also more to it. And in each of my examples, there was definitely a whisper to myself or a statement made out loud, a belief or a feeling that I knew it would happen, I knew I was going to win that spelling bee. I knew I was going to get that job at the amusement park. And I knew I was going to marry that boy next door, I just felt it. I believed it. The true definition of manifesting will depend on what Google search you do or what book you read. But my own personal definition goes something like this, a desire or goal that I make happen by believing and giving energy to until it happens. So, how do I manifest like a badass? I'll give you my simple version, belief plus energy plus gratitude equals magic. Believe, I sit in meditation, sit in silence, daydream, or whatever your version of meditating may be. During my meditation, I picture what I want to happen as if it has already happened, I see myself having already achieved my goal. I feel the feeling as if I've already accomplished what I want. Give energy. I do the work. I put in the time, if my manifest is to write an article, I sit down at my computer and put in the hours. If my goal is to win the sales award for the month, I sit at my desk and make the calls, be grateful. This is an important one. If you are already a believer in the universe, the law of attraction, and all the magic and powers that go with it, then you know that the universe doesn't know time, there is no straight line. So if you show gratitude in advance for something, the universe thinks it has already happened and works its magic to make it happen. So, in the morning, or whenever I have time in my day, for me this usually happens in the car or in the shower, I state my daily gratitude list out loud, and my gratitude list always includes whatever I am trying to manifest. And I state it as if it has already happened. I state it with detail and I say it with enthusiasm. I still have to do the work, I won't win the game unless I play. I won't get strong unless I go to the gym. But I do believe that manifesting will make the stars align much quicker to make it happen, if you pay attention. You'll notice people coming into your life that might align to help you. You'll notice information falling into your lap. You'll notice new ideas popping into your head at random times. You'll notice a new opportunity that maybe wasn't available before. Your vibration and energy will start matching with similar people and experiences around you. You might say it is about believing in yourself, and I do believe that is exactly what it is. But I also believe it is like badass magic. Author. Sherry Fagan Image, Atik Banna Slash Unsplash Image, Ecofolks on Instagram Editor, Kelsey Mihal Let's Block Ads. Why?